G'day guys, Corey Hind here. I hope you're really well. What is Apple Business Connect? We're going to try and answer that question straight away because I think you need to know what Apple Business Connect is if you're into local SEO and you run a local small business. I'm just going to move my head out of the way so we can focus on the work here. So this came to my attention last week. We do lots of Google Business Profile work, therefore helping local businesses do well, rank well, appear up the top of Google search. In the background, quite some time ago, Apple had a, a competing product, which quite frankly wasn't very good. I think it was called Apple Bid Business Register. We always encourage people to list on that and manage that listing because at the end of the day, loads of people walk around with iPhones looking for business services. But just last week, Apple has relaunched or tried again, I guess is the correct phrase, and they've now got Apple Business Connect. So if you go to businessconnect.apple.com, you'll find it. It looks like this. In a nutshell, guys, I strongly recommend you do this right now because I think Apple's finally got a really good product here, which is going to compete with Google Business Profile. And I want you to get onto it now and start managing it because it's way better than their last iteration. And I think it's going to compete. So that there's really three steps. Go to businessconnect.apple.com do this now then you'll have to log in via your apple id that's hopefully already connected with your business if it's not you'll probably have a few steps there to navigate through and then simply get busy over on the left hand side which honestly looks a lot like the old google business profile dashboard with all the things you can do you've got your name display name showcase about i've got work to do on this one but that's what it looks like now it's usually Apple was getting data from elsewhere, like Yelp, maybe Facebook as well. But if you look at what Verge is saying, which is a, a well-known blog, you know they're saying that Apple's finally got it right, and I, I agree. It's it's a good competing version with Google Business Profile. I think Apple has seen that most people now use Google Business Profile to find local businesses, therefore not using an Apple product. Apple wants to build their business database, probably to sell things to you in the future, but they also want people to use iPhones more than Google products, and that's that's always been the game. Now, it's, it's new. If you roll down here, they're saying that this has been in the background for quite some time, and they, they probably then want to use it to sell perhaps other apps and other services to you, but in the meantime... I've been hunting around this morning, talking to some other Google Business Profile people and, and Google-centric people, and we agree this is definitely worthwhile because it almost has gone back to the Google Business Profile dashboard from last year, which people really liked, and I think they've probably noticed the pushback from users who don't really love the new Google Business Profile dashboard, so they've made it look a lot like last year's Google My Business version as a starting point, but what they're going to do is they're going to see an influx of business owners, hopefully you guys watching this video, they're going to see people get onto you know, this site today or this week, businessconnect.apple.com, and, and it's so easy to, to look through here and go, wow, I can add photos, I can, there's so much you can add to this that will enrich it for your business, and it's easy, it's very easy to use, whereas the last iteration they had wasn't so easy. So... I think that within a month or two, you know, Apple doesn't muck around. They're very, very good. They produce amazing products, as you fully well know. I'm sure more than half of you own an iPhone. So I think for small business owners right now across the world, you know, for local businesses in particular that we mostly serve, you're going to have to log into this and sort this out straight away and start to use both. I can see by the end of the year, you know, you'll probably have a page on your website which points people to Google reviews, Facebook reviews, and Apple Business Connect reviews as well, because you want to ensure that you're getting all of the most authoritative places filled out. Uh, at the moment, most people use Google reviews almost exclusively, some Facebook reviews overseas as Yelp reviews as well. But I think that this year it's going to evolve and Apple's going to become a real serious player in this game of, of local SEO. They, they know that people simply grab their phone and look for businesses and services. And I think they've finally got it right. So I'm, as soon as I finish this video, I'm contacting all of our clients to discuss this because I think it's going to be a bit of a game changer. And I want people to adopt it early. 
um, the, the last Apple version just wasn't at this level. But as you can see, if you look at this one here, we haven't even altered yet. Um, there's my ugly mug. But it's got some detail. It's got my website, phone number, address. It's got quite a bit filled out already without even touching it. And that's from the old Apple Business Register. But we'll be encouraging people to get in there today. We almost don't need to tell people what to do. It's that easy to use. So that's why I'm recommending as soon as you watch this video, go to businessconnect.apple.com and start the process. If you need help, of course, pop those questions in the comments below. We will be navigating through this today ourselves, as will our clients. So it's going to be quite a hot topic for the next few days. So if you need any help, just pop in in the comments below. And yeah, that's the video, guys. I wanted to, first of all, highlight this to you because people won't know yet. And then also let you know how easy it is to use. This really is three steps. Go to businessconnect.apple.com, log in using your Apple ID, which is probably already linked with your business, and simply get busy over here doing the stuff. Thanks for watching. We'll talk soon. Bye for now.